Jacob, darling. Do join me. To our fruitful partnership. And to the shiny new engines now in my possession. Back to business. Milner's fled to the Thames, occupied with securing his ferry. It's all he has left. Hmm, protected it with his life, no doubt. The very thing I want you to take. <laughs> Just kill him. That's not your first glass of champagne, is it? Success is more intoxicating than alcohol, Mr. Fry. Then save a glass for me. Now, what would it take to draw out Starrick's paw? The sight of his fairies in flames, perhaps. Now to sink Milner's Enterprise.
What the bloody hell? to your liking. Well, do come check again soon. Oh, hey, stop by, would you? I have something that might interest you. Oh. 
Come now! I see that glint in your eye. You're in the mood to shop. Everything you've ever wanted, right here! Come, look at my wares! Something will definitely be of interest to you! Come now! I see that glint in your eye. You're in the mood to shop. Everything you've ever wanted! I think I'm... You're done for! I've lost the engines. So this is my comeuppance. Pearl Attaway led me to you, not Staric. Then they were gonna give her again. I should never have come between Mr. Staric and Miss Attaway. Family always stay together in the end. What do you mean, their family? Time for Pearl and I to have a real conversation. Oh, but stop by, would you? I have something that might interest you. I was certain he knew that I belonged to the Order and was there to end me. Imagine my delight when he told me his true purpose. An assassin helping the Templar cause. Isn't that delicious? It's sickening. It's business, cousin. Look at the big picture. With Milner gone, I own the only omnibus company left in London. We already have a monopoly on English transportation the moment... Glower too much, cousin. You will get your engines back. Our new motorized buses will bring us both a lot of money. I'll need to arrange proper transport for the engines to get back to my factory. I want you at Waterloo personally to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Of course. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Today and in all of our future endeavors, cousin. To lose station. Doors jammed. 
Again? Just give it a shove. How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. Number 50, Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded, Beware All Those Who Enter. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the spectre of a small girl who was murdered by a servant. She could be seen at the attic windows weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. I'm eager to begin. Another legend claims the attic is haunted by the spirit of a young woman who purportedly threw herself from the top floor windows to escape her abusive uncle. Her screaming ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. This residence was briefly owned by a Mr. James Jasper, a choir master and an opium addict. His nephew Edward was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, a fair and delicate rose. However, Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. Easy. Go on. Shall we? Though this house is vacant, some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic. His only connection to the rest of the world, a tiny hole in the door. A young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. A sudden draft. Nothing more. Perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter, which is not at all unsettling.
more trouble from the rabble, I expect. Let me go, you folk! Ah, charming. Now tell me, why were you at that house? What was, was that? it to you? Out with it. Right, right. Uh, we were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. Wait, what secret open? passage? Yeah, number 50's got a secret what passage. What is the commotion? Here, take it. Just leave me be. What's going on? I've found a lock, but I haven't located the key. It's here. So this is how it works. Impressive. Get out of my house! Stand back, Charles. I did it in my mind! And I did it over and over again in this room! But there was no one. Whose love for Rosa came near to equaling mine. It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square. Just a wretched soul, driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me.